Hilarious. We back in that thing, Billy Surreals. Man, we back in it. We back getting it. Man. Hey, man, listen, before we get started, brother. What you got, man? It's been a great night, man. This whole night has been amazing, bro. Man, it's always amazing, It's been man. an amazing great night. People. Let me tell you something, brother. I, I say it, and I don't just say it haphazardly. I say it, and I say it from the heart, and I say it sincerely. Simo! Well, yo! Ernest! Yo! Can't do this shit without you, brother. We can, but goddamn it, it's a crutch on us. We can't do it without y'all, brothers. We can't. Y'all don't know how we feel about y'all. So I want to remind you every show. Hey, we love you, brothers. Salud. And every time we away, we miss you, goddammit. Salam to you. Corey, Sai, we love you. Sai. Hey, brother. You're under some good tutelage. Let me tell you about some good guys, guys in here. Let me tell you about, let me tell you about young Sai. So, young Sai. Uh, February 1st, that's all I'm going to say to you. We got <laughs> five. That's good. Deal. I'm glad you're talking about February it. February 1st, because let me tell you something. Here's the deal. Your time's ticking. There's a time bomb. If you don't take care of what you need to take care of, I'm going to take it off your hand. You hear me? <laughs> hey, D-Lay. I'm being as kind as I can. I'm coming. I have a, listen, I have an open door policy with all my friends. Go ahead and talk this I'm shit. I'm going to let you know where I'm at with mine. You better tell me What's my happening? boundaries with you. Yeah. Because I'm saying I'm in these streets. Sign up. I'm in these streets. Ladies in the studio. Yeah, yeah, almost. New beer. I'm in these streets. I need to know. I like the hat though. What the damn deal is. You need to know ASAP. Close the deal, Sai. Let me tell close you. That let deal. me tell you about your side. So we kicking it. Before I close it for you. Uh oh. We kicking it. We are in. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Come on now. <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know, Sai is my. My little brother, I met Sai when he was seven, and I was in college. And uh, his mom, his, his daddy, my mama got married, and we've been cool ever since. And uh, oh, shit, he will, his daddy oh, shit. pretty much taught me everything that my daddy didn't teach me. And his cold part is his daddy and my daddy cool, so we go out, be his daddy, my daddy, be my two daddies at the club. So now I'm out at the club, I'm like, here's my daddy, and his mother, daddy, and the middle. Oh, this nigga got a lot of support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a solid foundation. <laughs> so, his, you know, his whole family, they from East Texas, they from Tyler. Shouts out to Tyler, Texas. Yeah. And they call him Truck. He, uh, Truck, he talk like, shit, man, goddamn, we gonna go out there, man, we gonna go out there, we gonna fuck around, man, we gonna do some shit, we gonna go out there. Man, fuck, we gonna go out there to uh, Puerto Vallarta, man, we gonna kick it, man, you need to come on out there. Bring old lady, come on out there, we gonna kick it. So, we, we go to Puerto Vallarta. This time, I've been fucking with Jordan, you know what I'm saying? I seen him play basketball, seen him play football, mm-hmm. seen him, you know, kind of have some chicks around, but I haven't really got no solid evidence that he's a savage yet. Mm-hmm. I need to know that my little brother, because I'm claiming him, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Not it's just about blood, but we've been through the mud, you right. feel what I'm saying? And I can't have him, I can't have him being around here with his wrist broke. I said, right hey, I need to know what the fuck is happening. What are you doing? They asking me, so is he, is he getting some popping? I said, I don't know what the fuck that man doing. We don't know what he doing, but we're going to find out what he doing. Mm-hmm. Tell my old lady, I said, hey, tonight the night, we're going to figure out what Jordan got. We're going to get somebody over there, too. We're going to get somebody over there to him, because mm-hmm. I keep asking her, talking, I said, what happened to old girl? I mean, she's my friend. We're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Jordan, your brother. You, I need to know that you beating this bitch out the frame. What are you doing? He's what, so, what did he say to he's a, um, We're cool. We just hang out. <laughs> we vibe. We had some brainstorm <laughs> sessions, and we wrote some shit. I'm like... What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Nigga, if, if we're juniors, yes, you know what I asked you this. Are you fucking her brains out? I need to know a, a fingering story. He giving me nothing. We discussed Pythagoras theorem. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he cooler than that. He just like, oh, oh, oh. like, yeah, we vibe, we really mesh well. Who the fuck raised you, nigga? Because I don't know this nigga. He's just <laughs> nice. You just nice. nice, man. So we in Puerto Vallarta. I got a couple dollars in my pocket. I go to the strip club. I say, uh, first of all, I tell everybody, I say, hey, look, we're about to go to the strip club. If you go to the strip club with me, you know I get down. Don't come with me asking a bunch of questions and being judgmental. You see some shit? That's going to make it hard for you to smile. <laughs> but through all the rain and the pain, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. So, man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on their head when I get to the strip club. When I get to the strip club, I tell my sister, I say, you know what to do. She say, well, you, I don't want to do that. I've been doing this since high school, and it's not cool. I'm just tired of doing it. I say, we're not paying to go in this place, so you need to go run that. She goes right up. We don't even walk up to the front. She walks up. She says, um, 
hi, um, can I talk to the manager of the club? Yeah, we got um, BET that's coming in here right now. They're writing a story about your club. Uh, one of the hosts is going to be coming in in just a minute. Um, I just want to make sure we can get him taken care of because, you know, he really didn't want to come here in the first place, but we wanted him to come here because we told him it was a nice place. Keep talking, goddammit. Brittany talking. is talking her ass off. Yeah. She's bumping them down. Not only have they let us all in free, but they didn't gave us a section right close to the front of the stage. Mm -hmm. And they gave us a bullshit bottle of champagne. So we walk, I walk up, walk right in. Cool, we sitting there. I'm lap dance for everybody. My girl getting lap dance. My sister's getting lap dance. Everybody getting lap dance. I got three girls dancing around Jordan. Y'all getting lap dance. Mm -hmm. I hit Jordan in the chest and say, hey, what are we going to do? Which one you want? Come what on, we doing? Cooking time. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't know any of these people. I don't know any of these people. I don't me. know any of these people, I Teddy. I know you don't know these fucking people, nigga. I'm asking you which one, nigga, because it's time. Shit. It's time, nigga. Enough of this shit. You know what the fuck I'm saying, and if Come you don't, you're going to find out. Stop. My old lady looked at me, she was like, he, you know he does. I said, hey, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I told How you much you been drinking? A lot. Me and, me and Black, we've been drinking since sun up. Okay. We fell asleep in the middle of the floor last night because we had wristbands from a party which was all you could drink. That's a good point. So now we straight <laughs> just drinking in, in the hotel room at sun up. We're on the balcony looking over. We're drinking Coronas. We got Hennessy flowing. He on pure white. Whenever we overseas, Ooh, it's all shit. pure white. That's all we Man. fucking drink. That's all. Shit. Listen, that's all he want to drink is pure white. We've been out in the fucking ocean swimming and shit all day. It was just a great day. So we wrapped it up. We're going to the club. They so tired. They know I'm going to be out all night on some bullshit. I done found me a Molly while I'm out there. So I done popped that. I got half an X pill in my system. Wait. On that. Wait. What? Wait. What do you mean? Wait. What's happening? What I Wait. Do? What's wrong? You can't grab a Molly and keep going with that story. You I can't. need to know where you get that goddamn yeah, Molly from can't, in Mexico. You can't walk so over I'm in that. I'm at the resort. And I'm in there. And I, let me tell you the thing is. I say Mexicans don't play with drugs. No, they going to let don't. you know right where it's happening. Right I went straight to one of the people that was making, you know, you go up and they got them uh, buffets, but somebody's making them omelets. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I said, hey, can uh, to Blanco. I was like, where's the white at? Where the white? I, if I can find the cocaine, I can find the molly. Absolutely. It's right he there. told his boy, his boy said, I got this. I said, no, nah, I don't need that. I said, you got, a, you got mollies for the girl? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. I got Black Widow, too. I said, no, just give me the molly. Mm -hmm. And he gave me another XP with a Superman on it. I knew exactly what that was. So I took half of that, I popped that, popped the whole molly, get the other, other, other molly to my old lady. We at the club, we having a good time. Okay, Henceforth, now. I done caught my second week. All right. Jordan in there, and I said, which one? He looked around, I don't know any of these people. I don't know any these people, nigga. But it's time. You gonna be a, a wolf tonight, nigga. Right now. Which one? He's, well, you wanted to come dance? I said, yeah, she gonna come dance with you. Which one you want? He picks one. Dominican. Tattoos. She gotta be damn near six feet tall with these heels on, mm, walks mm. over, ass is incredible. She got tattoos all on her titties, all sleeve. She got this look on her face that says, just relax, you're here to have a good time. I'm in control. <laughs> That's a good face. Sire, Lil Jordan, he's over there having a time in his life. Let me tell you what happened. I knew he was getting taken advantage of in that lap dance, because he locked in. He did the full hand lock in like, I'm about to nut right now. Uh, and I said, I looked at him, I said, hey, hey. Don't do it. Don't you do hold it. Hold that thing. Hey, hey, hey. Hold hey, that. I know what you're doing. Let me roll that on over this way so you don't have all that pressure on you. She come over and dance on me for a second. I'm sitting there, I was like, ooh. Yeah, I'm about to figure this out. Yeah. This is this, this problem. <laughs> right. I got to do this. So I sit her back over there to Saya, and I talk to the man that saw it and set us down. I say, I need that one right there. Um, <laughs> give, me right back, hey, give me one second, talk to you, boys, okay. I said, come on, man, don't act like that. I'm from the United States. Y'all copying all that shit anyway. We've been doing this shit. <laughs> Texas, nigga, where the players is at. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Talk to me. What's happening? He go to the back. He come back. Okay, uh, you come right now. I said, no. It's for him. Oh, good one. <laughs> I said, how much? He said, 500 right now. I said, no, motherfucker. You go back there. And you tell whoever it is that was trying to get their 150 out of that, fuck them. I'm not paying 500 for this bitch. And you're going to make me ask her right now, and I'm going to fuck your whole shit up. Right. I'm trying to be respectful. Right. Now, you go back there. You tell me what's going on. He comes back again. Um, 425 I said, she ain't said no 425 She never said that. Do you want $25? Because you're fucking it up right now. You're about to blow the whole goddamn deal. 
Here's what I got. <laughs> nigga stupid. I got 300 American dollars. 300 US which for Which translates to 18 million pesos. <laughs> right. Whatever y'all conversion scale is. You want You're this 300 or not? Tonight. You want this 300 or not? Anytime a Mexican hit you with this. Okay. That's that bad. Okay. Me, me go back, come back in my car, bring me the receipt, sign off on it. Say, hey, fine. Do you, boy? Do you. Oh, lady looked at me. She was like, why are you sending him? I said, shut up. He knows what to do. It's instinctual. Now I'm going to go back there to make sure that they don't try and rob my nigga. So as soon as I get to I'm going to go back there <laughs> to make sure they don't try to rob my nigga. That's why I'm going back there. That's the only reason why I'm going back there. Because he don't know nobody in here. Make sure he okay. He told you he didn't know nobody in here, and I need to go help him. <laughs> so I get to the back. I pressed the little nigga. I was like, hey, hey, tell us two. Here, run it again. 600. Run it again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I ain't going now. I ain't going now. Run it again. I don't even know what club it's two it now. is. I ain't going now. There's two dicks involved in the transaction. I ain't going Swipe going it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that nigga leaves with my car. I'm waiting. <laughs> Side back there. He's like, so what up? what's up? I said, <laughs> if you don't go, he goes back there. And I see him, he over there putting his little work in. She going to mic, she, she, she doing a little mic check. Okay. I see his eyes, I look, I say, hey, nigga, hold it. Hold that thing. Don't you, it's don't too you soon. do it. Way too soon. He get in there, he doing work. That's gonna do it, he came back on my car. My sister pushed the door open. You okay back here? I said, oh shit. God I, damn. Fuck, I gotta go back here, baby out here. She out here throwing all the money I left her with. I right. said, you watch the bag. I come back, the bag is being dispersed amongst the club. Right. She buying random people lap dance at this point. <laughs> it's fucking XP and his mother that fully took over. She's talking. She's the friendly person in the world. Looking at somebody in their face. holding somebody in. I said, oh, baby, come on. You, you lit. What are we doing? But where are you? I thought you left. I said, why would I Where's, where's Joyce? <laughs> I said, he in the bag. You doing something? Don't leave him back there. <laughs> I said, I can't leave him back there. I'm going to go back back there. <laughs> I got to go okay. back there. I got to check on him. I got to go check. He need me. All okay. Do you need some more money? I said, I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure? <laughs> Just <laughs> wait. But hold tight. Back to the back again. So I'm still back there. I said, oh, shit. This nigga taking all night. He's going to make love to the bitch. Okay. I'm never going to get my time. So the mess dude still ain't came back. He comes out. The chick right there. I said, hey. Wait right here. Your boyfriend to bring you something. He's nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. Side on. Walk right past me. He walking out like he the king of England. <laughs> Walked out to the club and looking around. I said, oh, this nigga done left me back here. I got to leave now. I can't stay back here and wait in the shadows. So I'm sitting at the table, man. The rest of the night's going by. This nigga still got my card. Night's over. I'm like, I ready to go. We getting up walking out. He runs up. My friend, my friend. My friend, you you still want the time in the back? I was like, Shh, no. Shut nigga, the we, fuck up. Give me the car. Nigga, get me out of here. And we out. Mm-hmm. And that nigga let me walk out the club. I get downstairs. I just waiting on a taxi. Mm-hmm. Somebody tap me on my shoulder. <laughs> this old girl. The Dominican. Dominican. Got she there. said, hey, I thought you guys were going to party all night long. And I looked her dead in the eyes and I said, did you miss me? God damn, little Dominican girl. Brady and this bitch. Brady, Shot Town representative. What up, man? A dog. What up? Man, you Grady. You Hello. Grady. Thanks y'all for having me, man. Thanks man, y'all. Look, you in here. You yeah. in this thing, Grady. Glad, mm-hmm. glad you're in here, man. We've been on the road together a few cities, man. Cheers. Salute. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Always a pleasure to Bless. work with brothers. Man, you, man, just your whole goddamn life, Grady, man. Mm. Fuck. Oh, what? life. Nigga, you done been through fatherhood. Nigga, the shy. Nigga, just life. See, the nigga post a picture the other day. I'm like, this nigga raising a king. <laughs> nigga, son, like he can whoop my ass. Like, you know, you see somebody's son, like, I beat his ass. Like, I don't know. That little nigga might have something for me. Yeah, he about 6'4. Yeah. Yeah, 14 shoes. I don't shoot. do well with niggas with long arms. They yeah, he, down you on know, me. He, 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 I ain't got nothing for that. Hooper, and, you know, he don't shovel snow out here. So, you know, he, he learn. He learning what to do and shit. That's what the fuck. Man, is so. I got to Go ahead, go growing ahead. Growing up in the shop. Okay. So many people have affiliations. Did you, by chance, happen to pick up an affiliation? I'm a gangster disciple. G- okay. Still to the 
still to this day. Still get it popping. I gang bang on stage. Probably it's only me, D Ray, and Ball here. Niggas that really and Deion Cole at GD too. Corey Holcomb here, you know. And then we we still yeah, gang bang. We vice lord now them. Yeah, yeah, they ain't sleepy. Oh, that's that's what man. Doing. You don't call him damn fool. You call him sleepy. Who? Sleepy. Damn fool. Yeah, you call him sleepy. Why you call him sleepy? Uh, shorty. Uh, damn fool, a killer man. Damn, Chicago niggas won't bullshit. We won't bullshit. Nah, nah, let me tell you something. That's my damn fool. Don't play. Fool, fool, I like, know fool. Hey, look. He smile all day. Yeah, all day long. But smoke when the weed. Popping, that motherfucker's the first one to ride. We don't. Yeah, we don't fuck around. Yeah, he's serious. He told me one night we was out. We was in Nashville. He dead serious. We done, we done got all our money from the show. I done paid everybody. We in the club to pick up some more money. Damn fool walked up to me. We drunk as shit. He said, nigga, let me tell you something. Yeah. So he's not playing. When you get a nigga whisper that to you with a good time going on, you're like, what took your mind to having to kill somebody? Yeah. Right. Man, we got girls in the section. He real with it. Put it, nigga- put it. put it like this. Richard Pryor passed 06. Yeah. Damn fool called me. He had on the brown, remember the brown Richard Pryor t-shirt. Oh, the long time. He was yeah. in tears. I'm going to take the glasses off. He was in tears. And we went to the little hole in the wall, performed. He was crying on stage, performing, trying to get through. Man. They let him stay up there for 45 minutes. He was just starting out. You was at a Mar- Mar- spot that he man. got? Um, D-Man shit. Oh, D-Man shit, man. He came to my house in Vegas. I was in Vegas, and I'm wildin' like a motherfucking Vegas. Mm-hmm. He said, man, I'm coming to Vegas, man. I'm gonna hang out with you for a minute. Mm-hmm. And at this time, I'm wildin'. I'm doing comedy, but I ain't full-time. I'm hustling. I'm still dealing. I'm at the wind doing my thing with the women. I'm do- I'm living my motherfucking life. Is this another moment where you got to talk about D-Lay in Vegas? Vegas story. <laughs> God damn it, I'm living my life, Grady. I get it. He comes, and I'm like. I don't have a punch laugh for him. I get thing. it, I get it. He's coming to do a show in Vegas. The, uh, he's coming food. to do Jay Reed's show. Yeah. So as he's coming to do Jay Reed's show, he stop, he come, I pick him up from the airport, and he's thinking, he don't know. Like, I'm balling. Yeah. I got a Lexus LS 460. I got a Cadillac truck. I'm balling out of control. Mm-hmm. I got three houses. I'm fucking balling. You got bread. Nobody yeah. knows this, though. They don't win, though. So he pull, I, I go pick him up. He's like, nigga, what the fuck you doing? You know, he got this little Yeah, he did. Nigga, what the fuck you doing? I said, I'm done. I'll be right back. I gotta this go was pre dress. He was growing them. Right. He was going in. Yeah. I said, I'll be right back. I got to go by West Star Credit Union. Oh, uh, you know about what you do at West Star Credit Union? <laughs> you go to West Star Credit Union. Hey, you going over West there to Star fuck Credit your life up? I'm going to get Had you money. already fucked your life up? I'm. No, no, no. I, I just got, I just got a lot of be- money at this point. This before you fuck your life this up? This before that. I just, I, I just run. I just go in there and, and flex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I go in there and just grab some money because I'm like, I'm going to go gambling later on. Damn fool. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to take yeah. this nigga. I'm just going to show him. Let's show him Vegas. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to go stop by another place. One of my other spots stopped by there. He said, man, what, who, who live here? Oh, so my partner live here. This is my house. I'm renting it out to him. He's like, nigga, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm just going. I ain't even thinking about nothing. I'm just going yeah. through it. He thinking, nigga. We go to the show that night. He plotted. He plotted. He plotted. Yeah, we plotting. go to the show. After the show, I said, let's go to the casino. We're in the casino. We're gambling. So I said, we're going to get some drinks. We ain't uh-huh. getting lit. Yeah. He said, man, who birthday is it? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nobody goddamn birthday. We just turn the fuck up because we can. Because yeah. you here. Yeah. Man. That Chicago shit, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, dog. It's, it's got to be. Like, how, man, but, so how do you get into that shit? Um, is it by ch- was you the choice or it was like a situation that pushed it into that for you to jump down? Like certain you? gang shit is you know different. You know what I mean? Um, it all starts from the Black Panther Party. It's derivative. You know, a lot of niggas don't know that, but you know, um, that's their fault. Uh, <laughs> far Damn. as yeah, a lot of niggas is dumb on you know not knowing what what they doing. And um, Chicago, I should say the Chicago gang culture. We we made everybody else understand what the shit really is about. Um, y'all had the Cecilia families in Chicago. Yeah. Y'all had a lot of Any gang banging shit, they came from Chicago. Yeah. Out here in LA, what's his name? T. Rogers for the blood? Yeah. Chicago nigga. We'll leave that alone. So, um, a lot of cats, you just get down. We don't, you don't get jumped in. You couldn't be a gangster disciple or a stone ranger unless you maintain a 
B plus average. You couldn't fuck with us. You couldn't be out with your pants sagging, doing that. You couldn't do none of that. You had concepts, you had church, you had Bible, you had social economics, you had real shit. All that shit they be putting on TV, trash. You had to really get involved. We was involved with, you know, the uh, real estate. That's what gang, yeah, yeah all that shit they, talk, yeah, it's, you know, wow. that's what they do. That's what they do. That's, that's the principles that was based on. That's why I got the original. The same shit your father told you. Right. Most real gang chiefs will let your young niggas know what your daddy tell you. This is what we about. And then you go from there. Mm. But all that selling dope, get the fuck out of here. We don't do none of that. That's some house nigga shit. Right. <laughs> house niggas sell dope. No diss to the niggas that sell dope, but you know, we don't real gang banger niggas, they don't even they don't even honor that shit. My daddy called me the other day out of the blue. What'd he say? He asked me for thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's <laughs> I haven't seen this nigga since 1994. I graduated in 94. Yeah, you know, the funny part is, hmm. he asked me for 30, not, no, not a joke. That's not, not three? A, he asked me for $30,000. Yeah, my bad. Ernest, we don't talk. He said, nigga! <laughs> 30 racks! <laughs> you a pastor! I'm about to cuss you out, bro. He mad. He mad now. He mad. I almost, I had to come. I said, why do you think I'm going to give you $30,000? What you going to get? Why you want to Where get? my bike at, nigga? <laughs> the fuck is that dirt dust I asked you for? What about that? Well, I mean, I, 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 I'm going to say it like this, man. A lot of times, kids don't know the bullshit mom and daddy go through, right? Because mm -hmm. I think most, what's that, like 80% of the black niggas in, in hoods, they, they deal with baby mama shit. So the kids don't know what mama's on. Right? So, take me for instance. I got locked up for $150 back pay, nigga. <laughs> In front of my mama, like, who cares? I was like, I got more time than money. I'm affiliated anyway. I'm good. Give me a bullpen. We straight, you know what I mean? So, that was 05, yeah. Went in there for $150. Came out the funniest nigga in Chicago. How long? How long you in? Uh, pretty good while. Pretty good while. Because you had to go through the court shit. Well, Chicago is different. It's not like Texas. It's not like LA. It's not like Louisiana. Um, it's gangster city, man. You gotta pay to play. You gotta pay. So if a nigga be like, "Yo, you owe three thousand, you gotta have three thousand. Ain't no ten percent of that. You got three bands, you can walk." I ain't doing nothing. I just got it. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. When you get in the bullpen, you in there with murderers. You ain't Sorry, in there with it. domestic cases and traffic niggas. You Why in there with you three thousand dollars. All just, you niggas are the same. <laughs> I don't even know you, Simon. I gotta give you three thousand dollars. <laughs> Why? So, I don't. Even, I don't have. I just got here. <laughs> so, so, Go you, so you, you <clears throat> definitely understand when you come out of there that you got a different level of appreciation, especially for your craft and what your goal. Is. Put it like this: If you go into a closet, yeah, and there's no um, clothes in there, yeah, right, and you can touch both walls, laying down in, you know, in the cot. And you see fecal matter, you see all type of excrement, you see everything, everything, pillowcase. It ain't really a case, it's just a pillow and rolled up mat. You might as well sleep on the floor. You get a, yeah. You know, so they give you chow sized McDonald's and hamburgers with no cheese, shit like that, yeah, so. They're just letting you know that, hey. You we don't give a fuck about you. Don't give so a I figured, you. this is what I did. I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something different. When I, when I get out of here, I'm never coming back. So I made a deal with the devil. I told my baby mama, let me get the boy, because you ain't going to do shit with him. And then he lived with me. Got him. Got out of there. Yeah. That problem ain't going to be something you're going to have no more. Yeah. Now, he um, you know, he got into a little squabble in the junkers, but, you know, he didn't know. Hey. <laughs> he didn't know. Hey. He out there, though. He <laughs> figuring it out. You know what, though? When, he, when I moved them, I got two of my boys out here. So I got three sons, 22 19 and 16 year old. So, most people, when we walk going to CVS, they think we boys. I'll never forget the white lady say, hey, hey, you know, you guys, let's hold up. That's, that's mine right there. That's mine. We don't, that's my child right there. That's my child. We, we not the same age. I'm 41, lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. He can read that book. He can read that over there. I got all that. We don't do none of that. I'm just big on respect. I don't, you, you know me. I'm big on respect. A lot of niggas don't have it. 
because they're not taught that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was raised with a father. Like uh-huh. you was talking about the other episode about cutting the grass. You had to do that. Daddy, granddaddy, great granddaddy. Oh, yeah, man, all that them. Shit. They weren't playing that shit at all. Dude, you know I'm be bullshit. Take, I gotta take you back. You don't know I'm Atlanta. Ah oh, shit. Me and Grady in Atlanta. <laughs> Simo! Yo. Miss you, brother. <laughs> Me in Atlanta. And um, we're on the Ladies Night Out tour. Because Grady is a part of the Ladies Night Out tour as well. Yeah. So we in Atlanta. I'm not a fisher, but y'all give me. Y'all yeah, he's call a fisher. Me. He a fisher. Okay, I'm a fisher. Ali quit. Ali Sadiq quit the ladies now. Come on, I, I, you I a Houston nigga. Y'all don't quit. That nigga said I quit. I got a billboard up on Sunset. I quit, nigga. That's my nigga. I Ali, love. my nigga. Yeah, Ali. Ali Sadiq, my fucking bird, said I got a billboard up. My bird. What's up, bird? 58 billboards. He said I quit. I quit. Fuck this shit. I quit. I'm gone. So we on with uh, Atlanta ladies now. What E say when you, Big E say when you ain't, when he ain't show up? What the fuck, man? You <laughs> smoking, man? What the fuck? Don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. He makes me sick, Ali. <laughs> when we go to the restaurants, he wants to tell the mo- he asks stupid shit. What type of oil are you frying? <laughs> the g- yeah, fucking fries in. Yeah, it's got to be halal, nigga. It's got to be halal. Halal, oh, man. You make me fucking sick, man. <laughs> that's, 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 that's Big E, right? That's, uh, that's M. So we in Atlanta, and they always give a guest spot to a local comedian. So we out. We at the club one night. He full of shit. I've been drinking all night. He full of shit. I'm lit. I'm drinking, I'm smoking, we had two shows. Man, you were harassing that nigga, man, just by eyeballing the nigga, man. At the after party, and there's another young comedian, he's hanging around. We don't know him at this time. (laughs) He's affiliated, so if you're affiliated, you you hang around. Yeah. So, I'm drinking a whole lot of liquor. I'm talking a whole lot of shit inside this VIP in Atlanta. There's some of the baddest chicks. Man, I'm, it's on. That nigga Bill bring them hoes out. He said, hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean that. I didn't, I didn't mean that. Simo, I didn't mean that. Dude. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. He said, hey, man. Bill said, hey, man, what you about to do? I said, listen, let's give you something to eat and then make it from there. Cool. We'll get something to eat. Now, at this point, I'm probably about nine shots in. Yeah. I'm nice. A dog liquor too. I'm four yeah. five backwards in. We yeah. had two sold out shows. I'm living my life like it's, it's golden. golden, goddamn. Because we had did Friday, it was only six people. But go ahead. I'ma get nigga. I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> so Friday night, six motherfuckers show up at the goddamn show. Due to traffic, not that they. Fuck all there. that. We ain't gonna put it. Six niggas showed up. Six niggas showed up. Nigga, they were six niggas showed up. Real shit. So Bill was like, yeah, man, I'm not going on stage, man. <laughs> that nigga D Day looked at me and said, nigga, you ready? Like, I looked at Greg, I said, you hey ready? man, I put this goddamn outfit on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Them oh six God. motherfuckers gonna see it. Yeah. It was six people in there. Real shit. So I said, hey man, listen, I'm gonna do 45, Grady gonna do 45, that's the show. Yes. Big E, introduce me. Yeah. He said, Big no nigga, I fucks with you. He walked in Bill. He's, this nigga right here. Mm-hmm. That's his boss. This nigga right here. Talking about, talking about Bill. Talking about Bill. <laughs> nigga. So Bill said, shit, let's just go and do the show then, man. <laughs> six people. We go out there, six I go out there and say, listen, man, lock the doors. Yeah. We only got six people in here. We finna get busy. I don't busy. want nobody else in here. We finna get busy, man. Lock the goddamn doors. These six people are gonna get this work. I put that nigga, yeah. set that bitch on fire like it was packed. Yeah. Bring Grady up, Grady kill. I bring up Bill, great night. Saturday night, having a great time. Nine shots in. <laughs> Killed in front of six motherfuckers. Swear to God. Six motherfuckers. They all alive, that's 100%. All of us are back. That's a, that's a no. Hold that's that's a no. Take all you bitches. That's a note. Big no. dog. Get the light over there. That's the note. Nobody man. took it on the chin. Nobody. Saturday night, we in there having a good time. I'm lit nine shots in. Yeah. Headed to the uh, eatery. Okay. Forgot the name of the spot. We in Atlanta. Moonshine. Moonshine. Yeah. I'm sitting there, I place my order, I'm lit, I'm sitting there, it's about a party of 10, it's about 10 of us. It's me, Bill, Grady, 
Big E. Uh-huh. It's a it's a big ass table and all of us we're sitting there. Mm-hmm. So I'm lit. I don't wanna be fucked with. Are you fucked I'm up? I'm chilling. I'm fucked up. Leave me be. Mm-hmm. Good. Young comic. Hey man. Hey man. Yeah. Um man, I've been watching you, man. Man, it's like I'm it's an honor, man, to just, you know, be able to sit and just and get some knowledge from you. Oh yeah. Yeah. He at the end of the table. D Lay is literally at the end of the table, like kings and shit. Everybody else. I'm is at. I'm at. The, I'm at the like. Yes. I'm at the like the, the end of the table. Everybody. And I'm. I'm not fucking with none of y'all. Peasants. I'm gone. That's exactly what he was on. Some peasant shit. Yeah, man. It's, it's good. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, we gonna do a guest spot next. You know, tomorrow. I was like, yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> guest spot. Yeah, man, I'm, just, I'm ready, man. I've been doing comedy like two years, man. I'm excited, man. Yeah, I'm just I'm glad to say the shit to say. Cool. All right, cool. Big E look at me and said, Who is this nigga? Yeah. In front of him. In front of the nigga. Who is this nigga? Yeah, in front of the nigga. I said, Man, that's our partner Lotto. That's Lotto. That's our partner Lotto. That's his man. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Next day, Big E's coming to me. He said, Man, Bill's gonna give this little bitch ass nigga some stage time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't because Biggie don't like new don't comedians like at all. He Biggie hates them. Yeah, yeah. He just hates new comedians. Go get his ticket some stage time. I'm like, all right, cool. So we get to the club. Club is packed. They're getting ready to call my name. I hear the DJ warming up. Now at this time, I'm in the bathroom. You know how uptown was set up. I'm in the oh, bathroom and I'm washing my hands. Bathroom man in there with you? Bathroom man in there watching me. He ain't gonna let you leave out there to watch. He you gonna wash your hands. You can't no. just not. Wash your hands in front of him. And you gotta give him a duck, though. You gotta give him a slug. You gotta give him a slug. So I'm sitting there washing my hand. Young comedian coming in. Young comedian coming in. He's like, hey, man. Oh, man. I'm excited, man. You ready? Are you ready? (laughs) (laughs) The worst shit ever. I looked at him and I said, The worst. Are you ready? Yeah, Yeah, man. I'm ready. I said, All right. So I'm about to, they call my name. I'm going to the stage. Big E said, Hey man, don't take it easy on this little nigga. I was there. Bury this little nigga. Yeah. I said, hey, he's a new comedian. I trying to be. Bury this little. I'm about to. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. I go up there, good crowd, catch a good rhythm, setting it off. Bam. Crowd is on fire. Hey man, come to the stage. I always say this so the crowd knows what's going on. This guy is from Atlanta, he's one of your own. You're going to love him. He's one of your own. So what he's saying is he always say he's one of your own. From Atlanta. That ain't my nigga. He's yours. It's your nigga. Yeah. It's your man. Whatever he do is on Atlanta, yeah. Georgia. Don't go that back to me. He's born and raised. Yeah. Your exactly. man. You love him. You might not know him, but you'll grow to know him and grow to love him. Why? Because he's yours from Atlanta. <laughs> Give it up. Not going to say his name for new comedian. New comedian walk out there, and I see him. He got, he's, one of, he's, he's got a lot of energy. Man. He riding that energy. That was yeah, sad yeah. Too. He said, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, hey man, yeah man, excited to be out here, man. I'm originally from the East Coast. <laughs> Somebody probably yelled out, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so, he threw out the first joke. Not Swear to God. Flatline. Horrible. I hear an old lady in the back say, oh shit. A real rap. So, oh my gosh. So he throws out another joke. Flatline, flatline, flatline. He's flatlining, right? Mm. Big E walks up to me and says, This little nigga's dying. You better kill him when you go on go stage. Go get him. He said, Go get Don't him. Don't let that nigga live. So he's still struggling. I said, Big E, light him. I'm not lighting that little nigga. I'm letting him feel it. He really he wants did. the nigga to die. He really <laughs> did. He wanted him to die more. Yeah. Young nigga's dying. Finally bad. comes off stage. It was bad. So I go on stage. Before I go on stage, the DJ's playing something. I grab his hand, I shake it, I say, hey man, I gotta do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bullshitting. I said, he is I gotta not bu- do it to you. He said, huh? I said, you'll see. Get out of here. Before I can say anything, the DJ hits him with nine back to back shit on you songs. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, Nigga. no more, no more. Thank you for being a friend. Like, really? Dun, dun, dun. Ch, ch, ch. Boo, kill yourself. The DJ's doing all this. Real shit. I said, oh my gosh. So I said, hey, y'all, um, nah. 
Yo, the give it up for um, for one of y'all. Having a good time. Yeah, that yeah. was from Atlanta. Man. That's y'all. That's y'all, boy. She's from Atlanta. I see how y'all feeling. Mm -hmm. I see y'all faces. I said, this time, all I can do is pray for the brother. Everybody, extend your hands to him. He was standing in the back of the club. Oh, wow. you prayed over this nigga. I said, extend your hands to the brother. The whole club turned and put the hand out towards the nigga. Swear to God. Swear to God. At this time, the DJ drops never would have made it. <laughs> <laughs> never would have made it. I said, Heavenly Father, touch him. Watch over his soul. His spirit is vexed. Amen. He doesn't know his calling. Someone told him this was it. The devil is a liar. I'm running through it. I run through probably about seven minutes of just church shit. People are standing up running. Motherfuckers is running, dude. I stopped I the music. Him. I said, the doors of the church are open. open. Nigga, when, when he did that, that shit. They go crazy. They run I said, the come to the stage. There. Chicago's on, my boy, give it up. <laughs> Ray Gray. <laughs> This nigga goes on stage, tell right? Him what, tell him what Keep I'm in doing. mind, first of all, Grady is sitting back there watching it with me. He said, this nigga's dead. Yeah. <laughs> we sitting there watching it together, right? I said, give it up for Ray Grady. Grady comes to the stage slow. Grabs the mic. The crowd is still laughing, right? They're still laughing. He cut, he said, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Son of God, nigga. He said, No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? Because of the boy outside throwing up. That <laughs> nigga's about to kill himself. Hey, bro. D-Lay D -Lay made the kid, he had tears in his face. So I'm on stage. On oh, my like, ass, Bree. He deserved it. I said, I said, Yo, yo, yo. This shit ain't for everybody. A lot of you young niggas want pussy. In my line, D-Lay. Yeah. A lot of you young niggas want pussy. You don't want to be famous for being a pioneer. You want hoes. Don't come up here fucking around. Get that boy a round of applause. The crowd went nuts. Yeah. Now I got into the schedule program. You got to do that sometime. Mm -hmm. You got to let niggas know where they, where they fucked mm -hmm. up at, where the shit got off at. He a little nigga. Yeah, you gonna learn. He had on cute shoes and shit. <laughs> so you, you figured he didn't really have a daddy. You can tell him how he grew up with no father. Ain't yeah, no father figure. That's rough. Nigga was misled. Because D-Lay was giving him the game. Bill didn't even shake his hand. Emory didn't say nothing to him. D-Lay was walking past him. Like, you know, when they got the, you know, got the drink set up. Shorty grabbed the Hennessy. D-Lay was like, nah, that's mine. D-Lay was like, nah, put that down. You get water. You ain't, you ain't earned a drink. Because you, you didn't do nothing tonight. You bombed. Why are you still there? Why are you still in the building? D-Lay was just like, I wasn't mean to him, but he needed to do that because now, when I saw him again, mute in the motherfucker, he was, he understood, like, yo, I, I just really wanna just be on the radio, tell jokes. That's where you belong. A lot yeah. of niggas don't know their purpose. That's what fucks up a lot you of go shit. Out there a lot of niggas you, don't know their purpose. You get your face beat in. Yeah. All the way in. All the way you, in. You was wrong for that little boy. I mean, you know, he, we, we face a lot of, we face a lot of crowds, but a lot of it has to do with the shit that we have to face in our life. Niggas, niggas face a lot of shit in our life. A lot yeah. of, a lot of bullshit that you I hope, got to I hope for. Tate don't go through that, because he gonna go through it. I would've never said that. That's my man, I love him, but we don't say that. Bro, look. You're gonna pay that mic. Mm -hmm. you You're going to that. pay it. You're gonna give it what it asked for. It, it ain't. It ain't asking. It's taking. You're gonna Eleven hundred motherfuckers told me I won shit in Milwaukee, 2004. When niggas boo you from, you can see seat number 1499, <laughs> and niggas boo you. It felt like you know back in the movies. When the wind would blow and niggas had be moving and shit, that's what, that's what the boo feel like. like. And you had to stay there because the host he ran, the DJ ran. I'm standing there like, damn, I'm up here with a, okay. You got to take all of that. You got to take, take, take that. You gotta and, take all and ain't no, it's no other feeling like that. Did I tell you about the Tuesday night in uh, Coconut Grove? Yeah, you did. You did tell us about that. Did I tell you about that Wednesday night on on? Um, well, you talked about play. We With Malik. Malik. Yeah, we talked about that. Because I got to play. Because yeah. Benji Brown will do 40 in front of you, and then Benji will do 40 in front of you in Coconut Grove. And, and then it's, you on the stage with the little door. And, and, and you can just, just open, open the door and, and, and see right all, there. all of 
Miami. Carroll City Cartel. Yeah, they right they there. They shit out of that they, they, yeah. like that, that, they booed the shit out of that nigga. Oh, shit. They booed this motherfucker. So he was so cocky. I don't like cocky niggas. I say, hey, man. Be cocky careful. niggas act like broads. Be careful. That's what you should. Y'all should do a pot. Y'all should do an episode on cocky niggas act like bitches. Man, you know what it is? It's a different thing between being cocky and being confident. Mm -hmm. And then there's another difference between being confident, cocky, and just being tested. Or it's just a difference between this ain't for you. Yeah. This ain't for you. A lot of shit ain't for you. This ain't for you. A lot of shit. Yeah. Just like when Trey jumped in the back of that car, and then he was he 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 figured, this ain't for me. Let me out. He knew Monster was going to wake Let me out. Dookie was going to shoot something, and he knew Doe was going to shoot something. He wasn't going to shoot a goddamn thing. Oh, Doe? Doe? No, 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 no. Trey? Trey wasn't going to shoot nothing. Dookie, Monster, and Trey was going to let it ride. They was that too, let it ride. Doe had no choice but to let it ride. They just killed his little brother. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a way of life out there. Mm -hmm. was, have you had moments where you felt like, tonight's the night, I'm going to have to let it ride? Uh, first of all, I'm not a gun nigga. I don't like guns. But you have to put them in. We'll, no, we'll fight all day. We'll, we'll fight, fight all day. And if you whoop me, you got to fight me every, every time. Every time you, you see me. me. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. You got to whoop me every so, time. So, um... You done took some L's out there. Yeah. I don't um, like that rule. After I beat you, I won. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I you know them. what it is? I think it's just... <laughs> Niggas don't want to accept that L. Yeah, I don't it's, it's, no it's, one of, it's one of them things because if you whoop... If, if D-Lay got into a situation and the nigga whooped D-Lay or D-Lay whooped the nigga, I gotta fight you again, you gotta cause you gotta know to everybody else that even though you might whoop me, do you want to fight me mm -hmm. every time you see me? Cause that's the difference. Okay, I tell you what. That's why niggas. If I fight you and I whoop you, uh -huh. I'll give you one more fight. <laughs> <laughs> and that's nothing. it. If you don't win, no, that's it. You no the WBC? You, know I mean? you out here cutting niggas second fight time? I, I give you oh, you got a choice. Fight. When no, you get stolen, on, it's nigga, clear that I, I can beat you. <laughs> I don't need to fight you no more. Why do you keep Why do you keep doing this to you? I won twice. Come on, bro, stop. I, I try think, to be friends now. I think, you can't I, beat me up. <laughs> I, I think what happens is I, I ain't gonna say. I think what happens is me just doing a lot of dumb young adolescent shit. You ever slap the nigga with a um, school chair? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. So, slap a nigga with a, a yeah, whole chair? Yeah, whole chair. <laughs> you call that a slap? It's a slap. I thought you were going to say, have you ever slapped a nigga in the face? I've done that a bunch of times. I slap a lot of niggas. It's actually two different things. It's a WWE move. No, but you know what? It's actually assault. It's, it's actually just assault. It's just, assault. It's just a... Uh, That's a fatality. I'm going to take... I'm going I'm to say some different shit. I'm going to say some different shit. I already said shit. That's assault. <laughs> That's exactly what they were trying to get. Hey, hey, that's Grady finishing moves. Yeah. Understand? Understand? That's a song. <laughs> he whispered in Irish. <laughs> Some seventh grade shit. Dude thought, dude thought it was easy because I was yellow. Right. And he was a dark skinned nigga. And he just felt like, why not? You know, he was going to try me. He didn't know I was, I had just plugged. That's a Chicago term. You hear what Chicago niggas say he plugged? That means he gang banged. So I was like, well, listen, man, I ain't really, you know, so dude named Chauncey, whatever. So nigga woofing the whole time. And I'm in the classroom and I'm like, he about, you know, he's taller than me, but if you ain't got the heart of a lion, nigga, op don't open your mouth. Okay. Don't open your mouth, nigga, because somebody's going to test you. Mm -hmm. So I figured once we get out of school, he with it, but he ain't all the way with it. Mm -hmm. I was already with the shit. You know what I'm saying? So... He just said the wrong shit. I think he was like, you know, remember the shit was like, well, I don't know how old niggas is in here, but. If you love your mom, put your hand on the hot No, no, screen. it was like one of the niggas that was just like, they would say your mama, did, I didn't play the mama jokes because I don't know you. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't play the mama jokes. I don't play none of that shit. Right. So I just said, you know what? If I smack this nigga, but I need to make a statement for his niggas, and then I need to make the statement for the whole Foster Park public school. So we just pulled the chair, pow, rocked him across the face. It was going prison rules. It was you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make a point. I gotta step in. No, like, Bill, don't be like that. School. Look, look, look. No, no, no. This is I don't got no problem with that. Okay. You know what that is? What's that? That's assault. No, no, no. That's assault. That's assault. Let me tell you who you are. What? 
You the white boy I talked about on a couple episodes back. That's when we just start throwing overhand. You throwing curveballs. Yeah. You weren't ready for that. He didn't see that one coming. Well, he, that wasn't in the, in the lineup of shit. That he I'm was a, like, okay, he okay, might put it like this. Be. You ever you ever seen it? Like you you a fashionable dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a very fashionable nigga, right? Just imagine if a nigga play you just because you fashionable. You gotta overdo shit just to get your point across. So the other goofy, so he gotta take the. The, the brute shit. I'm telling you, Only Zach, I know exactly where you at. He was the first to step to No, no, he was just. Nah. He's you, the first one to disrespect him because he looked at the make exterior. A state, it, the, the terminology is you have to, to make an illogical decision. And I got the shit keep, beat out of me. Like my mom and daddy. Oh, yeah. They took turns, but I had to. Nah, just you had because, to make an example. Like, you know, when you throw up the forks and shit, and I'm just sitting there like, you know. They didn't stump the nigga, but they was the class was stuck. Twenty two students is like, plus the teacher like, Raymond. I'm like, he'll never try that again, ever. Again, ever. any light skinned nigga, he'll ne- he'll think twice about a light skinned nigga. That's why I know that niggas teach niggas with you. Cause I, I I was break dancing, B Street that just came out, you know, shit like that. I, <laughs> I love to break dance. I just want to have fun. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is how you get funny when you make gangsters laugh. Yeah. yeah. Gangsta street niggas all the way around. If you make them laugh, you good. Fuck the nerd niggas. Fuck the bitches. Get the street niggas. Cause you come out and you, we 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 talking right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You walk out of a show with cash money. Mm-hmm. You walk out of a show with cash money. Street niggas. A will. bitch nigga gonna try you. Or a street nigga like leave that nigga alone. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Hey man, go. hold up. You just made me think about something. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no. Scruncho says to me, I got a room. You gotta do it, it's on Sunday. You gotta come to my room. I'm like, all right, I'm cool, I'm gonna come. One Sunday went off, I'm gonna come to your show. Cool. Yeah. Finally, I'm off a Sunday, I agree to come to the show on a Sunday. Yeah. And I get to the show, and it's packed. We're in... Long Beach. I don't know, we're not in Long Beach, but we're in the hood. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a lady, she has a spot, and we're in the hood. Mm-hmm. And I walk in, and it's all gangsters. It's all Crips. Everybody in here has on blue. Everybody got on fun. blue. Everybody got on blue? Everybody is blued up. Does mm-hmm. everybody have on blue? Everybody did. Right. So I said, oh shit, this is a gangster boy. Oh man. They get it in here. So Scrunch will say, hey homie, you up next. You good, you up next. All right, cool. Meantime, brother in the corner stand over me. He said, oh shit, d what you doing in here, man? Can I get a picture? I'm like, yeah. He says, hey, the big homie gonna take it. Yeah. The big homie is about 6'5", bald head, and I know he a crip, because he got a crip on his neck, <laughs> tattooed on his neck. He not playing. He not crip. playing by none of that. He not playing. And I know he just got out. I know this nigga just got out. Right. He hands him the camera. This nigga looks at the camera like this. <laughs> <laughs> He spins that bitch. He's like, <laughs> so he says, "Hey, hey big homie, you do you take you he's right here and you snap it, right?" Big homie, like, yeah, all right, cool. He take that motherfucker, and I know this camera shot gonna be bad. I know it, cause he's holding the camera wrong. He put that motherfucker right here. He wasn't even looking at that motherfucker. <laughs> he not even looking at that motherfucker. <laughs> he snapped it right. Hands to head. And my man's like, "Hey, D Lake, thank you, man. Hey, ch- let me look at it. We look at it. Our heads is chopped the fuck off." Nobody gonna no say head. shit to Big Homie. But he's so scared to ask Big Homie for another picture. He said, we good, Big Homie, we good. We good, we... So I'm like, I'm looking at it. The crowd is great, it's a great crowd. Yeah. Great crowd. So Scruncho comes back to me, he said, I'm gonna do one joke, <laughs> and I'm bringing you right up next. So that's 20 minutes. He says, d like, listen, I know you like to fuck with the audience, but the Big Homie's up front. Mm-hmm. He's an OG. He sleep. Don't say shit to him. I said, Scruncher, he's sleep. I know. <laughs> but just don't say shit to him. Yeah, he meant that. I'm like, oh, this is going to be hard for yeah, me. it's going to be a hard one. This, this is going to be fucking hard for me. And I get on stage. When I get on stage, I see him. He's sitting like right there like this. <laughs> out. Nigga, out cold. Yeah. On the stage is a ceiling fan. Yeah. It's not a little big stage. It's like a little bit of they made a stage. And it's a ceiling fan. The place actually is a garage. It's like a big ass garage. And they didn't turn this bitch. They got a little bar. They put a little stage. It's just niggas didn't put some shit together for a show. Right. So the crowd is hype. 
and I'm in there, and I'm like these motherfuckers on fire. Every time I hit a joke, a punchline, I hit that motherfucking ceiling fan, I pull that bitch down, yank, yank, I make a level, go, and it'll pick up a, another notch. I'm rocking that, but every time I hit a joke, I look over at my man, this motherfucker's out. Still out. I'm not, out of I'm there. I'm trying not to say nothing to this nigga, mm -hmm. but you know, you see me, I got, Oh, I'm, I got, I'm trying not to say nothing to this nigga. Right. So I'm going through the set, hit another punch on Yaga. Crowd going crazy. Every time I pull that goddamn string, Yaga. I'm getting to so about 20 minutes in. I'm doing like maybe 45. I hit another punch line. Yaga. I pull that bitch, the whole ceiling fan come down. <laughs> the whole ceiling fan come down. The crowd's like, ooh. Lady the boy said, oh, motherfucker, you gonna pay for that. Oh, shit. I'm like, who is that? It's the owner. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Okay, fuck. So we pick the ceiling fan up, move that bitch to the side, push that to the side, finish the set. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to say something to this fella. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say something to this fella. I look over, he's awake. Yeah, he woke up. This nigga wide awake. What'd he say? I said, hey man, you act like you've been here with us. Right. You've been gone. Right. Sleeping in the motherfucker. Right, he's sleeping. For the last 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. He yawned and motherfucker stretched. Yeah. This nigga looked me dead in my eyes and said, Did you miss me? God damn! Took him around the world. Brady had to jump out of this bitch, huh? He had to pee. <laughs> Brady had to jump out of this bitch. He had to pee. Hey man, thank y'all for watching the Did You Miss Me podcast, man. We really sure. appreciate y'all, man. Everybody here. From me to Billy to Side Mode to Ernest, man. Thank y'all for watching. We got plenty of stuff that's cooking for y'all, man. We want to let y'all know where to find more things about Did You Miss Me Podcast. Hey, man, click the subscribe button up top, man. Make sure you follow us on all social media. We on Instagram. Hit us up. D-Y-M-M. Yeah, hit us there. Podcast. That's it. Yeah, we in there. You got to follow us. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Man, let us know what your favorite stories are. Damn. We here. And now, don't and don't forget to give number. us a call. Get the number, man. Don't you ever forget it. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you.